Hello and welcome to my YouTube. In this YouTube, I'm going to talk about the cost of things over the past 73 years. Let me start by saying I tend to speak slowly because my data tells me 67% of the people that watch my YouTubes do not speak English as their native language, and 12 of my regular subscribers are totally blind. Let's begin. We've all read something like this. In 1950, gas was 27 cents a gallon. A gallon of milk was 83 cents. A loaf of bread was 12 cents. A Coca-Cola was 5 cents. And a man's average salary was $3,300. Great. But those are $1950, and they don't really tell us much. I mean, can you tell me how much 83 cents in 1950 is worth today? You would have to go through year by year by year and calculate the inflation rate. In this video, I am going to compare the cost of things in four different years, 1950, 1980, the year 2000, and the year 2023. This is as close as I can get because the data for the year 2024 is still incomplete since I'm making this video in November and we have two more months before the year is over. I will convert all the cost into 2023 dollars so we can really compare how the prices have changed over the years. So all the figures you're going to see are converted to our current dollars, at least in 2023 terms. We will take a look at eight common items. An annual man's salary, a gallon of gasoline, a gallon of milk, a loaf of white bread, a dozen eggs, a pound of hamburger, a pack of cigarettes, and a movie ticket. Why did I choose these items? Because a gallon of gas in San Diego is the same as a gallon of gas in New York City. A dozen eggs in Seattle, Washington is the same as a dozen eggs in Miami. A pack of cigarettes in Los Angeles is the same as a pack of cigarettes in Chicago. Once again, I will convert everything to $2023. I chose $2023 because the data on $2024 will not be available until the year is over. And I'm making this YouTube in November. I have used an online amortization calculator to convert all the cost into $2023. That amortization calculator can be found at this website, and I will put this URL for this calculator in my comments so you can go there directly. It's really an interesting thing, and I encourage you to go take a look and play with this thing. Let me show you how this calculator works. Let's say my mother bought me this child's outfit in 1944. That's the year I was born. And she's paid $1.05 for the outfit. I've done the research and this little outfit would have cost around a dollar in 1944. So the question is, how much would that outfit cost today in 2024? So now what I'm going to show you is a video of my Macintosh screen. I'm going to go into that calculator and show you how it works. Ready? Let's go. Let's open up the calculator. And to do that, I'm going to click on this URL. Ready? Click. 
Here we are inside the calculator. I'm going to zoom in on this portion of the screen so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. Now, the first thing it wants to know is how much money do you want to convert to today's dollars? In my little example, that outfit my mother bought was a dollar five. So I'm going to type in one dollar and five cents in the amount. The next thing it wants to know, what year do you want to start? And this is a pop-up menu. So I'm going to select 1944. That's the year I was born. Ready? Click. Then it wants to know, what year do you want to calculate the money for? And I want to see how much is a dollar five in 1944 worth today in 2024. And once again, this is a pop-up menu and you just select the year that you want. Okay? A dollar five in 1944 is worth what in 2024? And now all I have to do is click this. Ready? Click. And right up here is my answer. My mother paid a dollar five in 1944 for that outfit. If she bought it today, she would have paid $18.51. And this chart shows how the price went up each year. And it also shows what the inflation rate was. Look at this. In 1946, right after the war, the inflation rate was 18.13%. Oh my Lord, did prices go up in 1946? And yet in 1949, there was deflation. Your, your money was worth more. So you can go through all the years, year by year, and see how much that item would have cost. And also, it shows me what the inflation rate. Look, 1974, 12%. A little closer to home. Uh, let's see, here we are in the 90s. Last year, the inflation rate was 3.35%. Okay, so that's how this calculator works. You just dial in the amount of money, what year you want to start, and what year you want to convert it to. Click go, and it shows you your answer. This is interesting. It also says from 1944 to the year 2024, in America, we averaged 3.65% inflation over all of those years, okay? So I use this calculator to calculate the projected prices of all of the items I'm going to talk about. So now you've seen the calculator in action. In review, what was a $1950 worth in 2023? And using the calculator, a dollar in 1950 is worth $12.58 today. How much was a $1980 worth today? A $1980 is worth $3.87 today. And finally, what was a $2,000 worth today? The answer is a dollar 76. So if you spent a dollar in the year 2000, it would cost you $1.76 today. And here's the inflation rate, 2.5% over the last 23 years. So I've used that calculator and I've researched the prices. So let's start with a man's annual salary. In 1950, that salary was $41,500. And once again, this is in today's dollars. In 1980, it went up to $48,420. In the year 2000, it went up again to $65,470. So you would expect this one to go up, right? Nope, it went down by almost $3,000. 
the average salary for a man dropped. Which begs the question, why? Why did salaries drop in 2023? Here's what research says. There was a little thing called the uh, pandemic. And there were job losses at the starting, and these were historic. The labor market was strong during the recovery from the pandemic. So there were lots of people, qualified people, looking for the jobs. There were sectoral shifts. What that means is people were shifting from one industry to another. The pandemic char changed America and the American business scene. Inflation had been high, and so inflation drives down the price of salaries. And there was a tightening labor market. The labor markets had been tightened with fewer open jobs and more people looking for them, so, pro so salaries went down. And uh, experts also estimate that uh, the pandemic caused American industry to uh, pay more to attract good people. But when the pandemic was over, they no longer had to pay those salaries, so salaries dropped. Several reasons to explain it. Let's talk about a gallon of gasoline, okay? In 1950, a gallon would have cost you $3.40. In 1980, it went up to $4.84. And then it plummeted. In the year 2000, it was only $2.66. And today, on average, it costs $3.09. Now, once again, I know, you know, I can go to Costco and I can beat this price today. I can go to my Kroger's where I have coupons and, and I can beat this price. But this is an average price in the year 2023. So that begs the question, uh, why did gas go up so high in 1980? And the answer is, there was an oil embargo in 1973. And that drove up the price of oil and gas in the United States. Oil prices went up 350%. There was the Iran-Iraq war, and, and this is where a lot of oil is produced in the early 80s. And that caused the price of gas to rise. There was a booming global economy. So there were more people competing for the limited supply of oil in the first place. All right, let's talk about milk. In 1950, $10.44 a gallon? Oh, my Lord. In 1980, only half that, $4.99. In the year 2000, about the same, $4.90. And today, it's cheaper, $3.09 on average. Why in the world was milk so expensive, relatively speaking, in 1950? Let's look at that. Why was milk so expensive? Because of the government's efforts to support dairy farmers and ensure a steady supply of dairy products. Okay? There was the Milk Price Support Program. The government created the Milk Price Support Program in 1949 to support dairy farmers and ensure a steady supply of dairy products. So the price of milk went up, so dairy farmers could make more money. There was a federal program to artificially increase the demand for milk, such as the 1940 Federal Milk Program for Schools, and they federally subsidized milk advertising. They wanted people to drink more milk because they thought it was healthy. Also, the National School Lunch Act, President Truman Press passed this act in 1946, which required schools to include between one and a half to two pints of whole milk in each lunch. So, that's why milk was so expensive in 1950. A loaf of white bread. <clears throat> How's that been over the years? It was $1.51 in 1950. 
ninety-seven in 1980, two sixty-five in the year 2000, and it dropped to two hundred to two dollars and two cents for a loaf of bread last year in 2023. So that's been pretty stable. What about a dozen eggs? Seven dollars and fifty-five cents in 1950. Whoa, big drop. Dropped all the way to $3.41 in 1980. Dropped again, $1.60 in the year 2000. And then it rebounded a little bit last year to $2.51. Why in the world were eggs so expensive in 1950? Let's look at that. Why were they expensive? <clears throat> Number one. Farm practices. In the 1950s, farmers began using raised cage housing to improve sanitation and hen well-being. But that drove up the price of eggs. Farm factories. In the 1950s, factory farm battery cages became more common, which allowed for larger flocks, increased automation, and financial efficiencies. So that's why the prices started dropping. Hen welfare. The price of eggs is affected by how the hens are raised, including whether they are cage-free, organic, or pasture-raised. So these are all the things that farmers were doing, and it dropped the prices of eggs. Oh, there was bird flu can cause fewer eggs to be produced, which can lead to higher prices. So this is what was going on on the farm. A pound of hamburger. What's that been like over the years? It would have cost you $6.50 in 1950. It dropped to $5.38 in 1980. It plummeted to $2.86 in the year 2000. And now it's back to where it was in the 80s, $5.02 for a pound of hamburger last year. Why did the price of hamburger plummet so much in the year 2000? Let's look at that. There was a drought which caused a significant loss of ground beef from the market. There was reduced productions. Two of the largest producers of textured beef, Cargill and Beef Products, Inc., closed plants, and they reduced their production by 80 cents, and that had a dramatic impact on the price of hamburger. What about a movie ticket? In 1950, you paid $5.79 on average. In 1980, wow, it doubled. You paid $10.41. In 2000, about the same. It went down a little bit, 951. And in 2023, it went back up. So we're paying about the same as we paid in 1980. That's what a movie ticket would cost you on average. How about a Coca-Cola? A can of Coke. Or in the 50s, it would have been a bottle. 63 cents. In 1950, 97 cents in 1980, dropped in the year 2000 back to the same prices in the 50s, 65 cents, and it dropped again. So our Cokes are cheaper today than they were back in the 80s, that's for certain. Why was 1980, why were those prices higher? Well, there was inflation, 12.5%, and that drove up the price of Coca-Cola and sugar prices in the late 1979. Sugar went up 12%, which drove up the price of Coca-Cola. And then they went back down, and so the price of Coke went down. So, now you're a little smarter about the price of things in America over the past 73 years. Thank you for watching my YouTube.